Hello class, I want to speak to you just for a few minutes about how to gain some speed by saving some time on your space bar and on your shift keys. I've typed a line up here, as you can see, that says K-A-L space, K-A-L space. And now I wanted to try to show you how you might could save some time around that space bar. For example, if I were to be typing this as, uh, let's say I'm in the marching band, then I would be saying one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Take that space and instead of giving it a whole beat, in other words, K-A-L space, K-A-L space, instead, in music terms, you would put it on the upbeat. So instead, we would consider that as only three beats. We would say K-A-L space, K-A-L space, K-A-L space. Then I would say etc. So that's the way to make some time up on your space bar. Now we've had several of you that talked a little bit about gathering some time on your shift key and punctuation. So I'm going to take this colon for example and I could use this one as beat 1, the A would be on beat 2, the L would be on beat 3, and then the shift in the semicolon on beat five. Well, you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to try to get it so, so it would almost be almost like you were saying chocolate. K-A chocolate. K-A chocolate would be K-A and then the L shift semicolon would be the three syllables of chocolate. Okay, I will say this class, this line right here, which is line number four in lesson number eight, is an extremely difficult line to type. It's almost like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. The Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. The Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. The Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And I know that must be exactly the way you feel when you are trying to type line four of lesson number eight because there's all of those P's going on in there. Now, the best way to do that is you're looking at this. You know, and I type pretty fast, guys, but I was only able to get about 58 words a minute with no mistakes on here. Maybe, maybe later on in the semester we'll master this one. But look at it. It is inversions of two. You see those two are alike. These two are alike. These two are alike, etc. So if you do them in a grouping like that, once you get the first one done, you can just do a repeat of that second one, and then the last one is is uh, all alone. You almost just have to like zone out, totally zone out. If you don't get it, don't worry too much about this one because. That is a hard, hard, hard lesson to do, all with that one pinky finger. I feel your pain, guys.